with another bins haul. Um, I went to the bins yesterday with my bins buddy. Um, I fully intended to come home with a smaller than average haul. I wanted to be very picky. I am, you know, trying to downsize my closet a little bit. Well, didn't quite work out that way. It seemed like it would at the beginning, but uh, I ended up with a full cart. I ended up spending, I think, my second highest amount ever. But it turns out I don't have more than average, a more than average amount of items. I just have a more than average amount of heavy items. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the money I spent because heavy items sell for more than light items if the, you know, brand label is at a similar level. Like, you know, if you have a brand at a certain level and you have a coat and then you have a brand at the same level and it's a shirt, the coat's going to make more money. So, and I, and I like the heavier items. Like I love buying coats. I love buying boots. So I ended up with a lot of that stuff. I'm going to jump right into it. Initially, I thought I would divide it up between clothes and footwear, but I'm not. I'm just gonna barrel through it all. Put your feet up, have a drink. Uh, if you want a two-part video, then just stop and come back, hopefully. All right, I did get some stuff for myself. I'm not showing you all of it. Uh, I'm gonna show you this one that I got for myself and then two that I, I'm not sure. So I don't know if you know this, but I am a hoarder of train cases and I bought this train case. This is a brand I've never seen. I don't even know what it says. I think it says Weenie, <laughs> W-H-E-A-N-Y. And it's a color I don't have. And the price is very good. I don't know how much it weighs, but they, they gave me a unit price instead of a weight price. So I paid $2.99 for this. Ooh. Anyway, this is for me to keep. Someday when I move, all of everything I own, all my clothes will be packed in tiny suitcases like this. That's how I can justify it. Okay, these two things are probably for me, it depends. I bought this Yeti. Um, it's brand new, it still has, I don't know if you can see it, it has the paperwork in there, but it does have a company logo on it. Um, it's a little bit heavy, but you know, Yeti's a, a good, a good bottle and I can always use more of these so I'm just gonna look and see if I if I could sell this for like $20 then I would sell it but if not I'm gonna keep it so I mean initially I thought I was just gonna keep it but I'm gonna double check same with this bag if I could sell it for like 20 I'll sell it but most likely I'm gonna keep it it's Victoria's Secret and I know I can't sell Victoria's Secret that well and for that much so I picked it up, I put it back, I picked it up, like, oh, it's such a great bag. It's a nice big tote bag. It's got a zipper closure. Pretty flower, so I do buy a lot of things to hold other things, but I like them. So I'm gonna, I'll just do a quick search on this. If I think I can make some money, I will, because I don't actually need it. Um, otherwise, I'll keep it. Okay, uh, here's a non-clothing item, and then I think everything else is clothing. Patagonia hat. Can you see that? Um, I can't decide if this is factory produced or if it's from sweat, but I think it's factory produced because the inside is fairly clean. It doesn't look like it was worn so much that that would have happened. Um, my friend says I should keep it, but I do wear hats sometimes, but not that often, and I have a lot of hats, and I was there to buy things to make money on, so... I'm going to try to sell that. Um, okay, this was weird. I noticed right away that there was a lot of Christmas items here and there, um, but then on one of the rotations, there were, I don't know, maybe three bins that was all Christmas stuff. So I don't, I don't know what was going on, whether they cleaned out their Christmas warehouse, but um, I found the one, I didn't buy any of it, it was all cute stuff. There was a lot of cute stuff and a lot of good things for, um, you know, like uh, ugly sweater contest uh, parties or whatever, but they weren't like good brands. So even, I don't sell that stuff that well. And even if it did sell, they were like something that would sell for $18. So I didn't pick up any of it. Uh, but I did pick this up because it was the one and only Hanukkah piece. It says love and light. 
It's got a dreidel and it's new with tags, so I'm going to give it to my great niece who I will be seeing in the fall. Uh, I don't have no idea what size she is. This is probably big, but that's okay. Um, is that a stain? Uh oh. No, there's just something gooey on it. All right, I gotta make a note to clean that off. But. Uh, these I bought also because they were new with tag. They're American Eagle. I don't. I don't buy American Eagle very much. Um, most of the American Eagle I've had has been given to me by a consignment person. I, I'm not sure I've ever bought American Eagle. Uh, but these are the slim lived-in khakis. Lived-in, it's got, you know, distressing. They're a size 36, 32, nice gray pant. Uh, I think I got stuff for, for like a, a wide price range, you know? I'm trying not to sell a lot of low cost things, but at the same time, I want some, you know, something that's in everybody's price range. Um, and I, I feel good about almost everything I bought. I think there's one item that when I take it out, I'll, I'll probably say this, I probably shouldn't have bought. Um, this, this item, very heavy, um, and has two major, major things wrong with it. I bought it anyway. I knew one of them. I didn't know the other. It's Carhartt and they are, like winter work overalls. They're winter because they're quilted and insulated inside. Got the zipper here. So what's wrong with it is number one, it's got bleach stain spots. But I mean they're working oh they're work overalls. So I don't think that matters that much. What do you think? I thought about maybe mixing up some uh I have some black dye and I could just put it in a little cup with hot water and dab at it. But I don't know. That could make it worse. Um, and like I said, I, I don't know that that matters if you, if you just need these for work. The other issue is there's no size. Not that that's ever stopped me from buying anything, but with men's stuff in particular, it can be a little bit difficult for me to figure it, a little harder to figure out. Uh, a lot of times what I'll do is try to find the same item on online and check measurements. And that should be a quick process, but it never is because it seems like a lot of people don't use measurements and I'll have to go in and out and in and out of a whole bunch of um, listings just to see if there's measurements. And I mean, this is sort of derailing the conversation, but this is what I hate about the Poshmark uh, promoted closet thing where you pay for clicks. I'm gonna go in and out and in and out of items just to see if they have measurements so I can figure out what size this is. And this is, pro you know, and if it's a promoted listing, it's costing them money and I'm not going to buy it. Uh, I just, I just think it's horrible. Uh, this was the tag and it's completely washed out and by, I'm gonna cut it off. Because I think a completely washed out tag just makes it look older. Uh, when actually they're very solid, there's no, you know, this type of thing, when it gets worn a lot, you think there's like some thinning of fabric and everything. None of that. So overall, these overalls are in great shape. I will lose some money for the issue with the bleach spots, but I still believe I'll make some money. This is the one item that in retrospect, I don't know that I should have gotten them. Uh, the brand is Eugene's. Uh, they are size 910. So these are vintage. As you can see, they're new. They've got the American flag, but they're not actually made in America. They're designed in the USA and made in China. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, they're still obviously vintage because we don't use that sizing anymore. This is probably before a lot of people's time that might be watching. Uh, but they're this kind of cool orangey, great fall color. And would you call that a flare or a bell bottom? Not boot cut for sure. What would you call it? I think I'll use both terms, bell bottom and flare. Flare seems to be the more current word, whereas bell bottom, oh, I was just looking, I have some coats I hung up, so I've got to pull those down. Anyway, um, I think flare is what they say these days. Um, these are a pair of men's jeans. They are diesel industries. They are a size 32 and they're made in Italy. Is diesel always made in Italy? I don't know. They just look like a pretty decent jean. They've got that fading, which is part of the design. Uh, str 
straight fit, loose fit. I'm really bad at figuring that out. I think it's a straight semi-loose fit. I don't know if there's a model number or anything, but I will see what I can find out about them as far as describing them as a straight fit or whatever. Whatever. Oh, this was one of my favorite finds. I love it. It is Roots. And look how nice that is. And that's applique. It's not screen printed. It's a size large, so big for me, but if it doesn't, doesn't sell for enough, I'm sure I could wear it anyway, but I definitely will try to sell it. Um, very happy with that. That, I, that was one of my early finds. Not probably my most valuable find, but still one of my favorites. Oh, this is a men's shirt. I did not look this up because I just decided I'm going to try it. Why? Why, you may ask? It's just a button-up men's corduroy shirt. It's a fine whale, so it's smooth. It's not as, you know, and it's fairly lightweight. It's not as thick as a lot of corduroy can be. Um, so why did I buy it? What's so special? What's, what's going on with this? It is, uh, let's see, it is Salvador Ferragamo, which I always think of as only shoes, maybe purses, but now there's a men's shirt. And 100% cotton, made in Italy, size extra large. First I thought I'll look it up and then I was like, no, I really wanna just, I just wanna bring this home and see what I have, whether it's worth anything. I'm sure it's worth something. Uh, okay. What's this? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is not something most people will pick up, but I have no regrets. I thought it was a kid's jacket. I had told my friend I bought one kid's item, but it's not. It's a women's small. It's just a small, small. The brand is Metal Militia. I have a Metal Militia t-shirt that gets a lot of likes, but it hasn't yeah. sold. But I sold other Metal Militia and sold fast. Not for a lot. But look at that design on the front. And it's, it's a hooded jacket and it's thick. So it's good for the, you know, pretty cool weather. It's insulated. And then this is the back design. See it? Metal militia. I was happy to find that. Uh, I, okay. I am trying to stop buying things just because it's North Face. And the fact is there were three North Face items. Uh, one my friend found, a pair of pants, and she decided not to take them. And I said no. They had some flaws. Um, not flaws that would make it unsellable had it been a really good brand. But I know that North Face just doesn't do that well for me anymore um, so I turned so I didn't take that and then there was a girl's jacket uh, I'm trying to stay away from a North Face unless I really have to buy it and children's so and it was dirty it's machine washable but I'm like nope I'm not putting in all the work it's kids it went back so I was proud of myself but I did pick up this t-shirt because I like the design it says tested and proven it has this white stuff that I don't know if that's, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna throw it in the wash. I feel like it may come out. And if it doesn't, then it'll be a bleach dye project. Bleach dye project. Um, I don't think I've ever sold this brand. It is a high-end brand, so I decided to give it a go. It's Max Mara, and this is a 47% silk, 53% cotton blend, which is a nice fabric, and then like a cigarette pant. And they look silky look actually sort of satiny in an interesting color very lightweight new brand for me I think so I got it um, my friend picked these up and then gave them to me because she was concerned there was puckering but there really isn't or I don't know they're Judy Blue size 929 but they're uh, maternity I wasn't positive they were maternity but I looked up the style number but there's no reason why you couldn't wear this post-maternity as well. Dark wash, slim fit, it's got whiskering, but everything seems to be in good condition. I haven't found Judy Blue in a very long time. Uh, this is, oh, okay, I, I'm not saying that I regret this. I'm saying this is one of the more, like, risky. Like, I have no idea how something like this will do. 
Uh, the brand is Sugoi, and it is a, it says rock and roll Las Vegas marathon and a half, which sounds like one marathon that's longer than a regular marathon, but it is actually a, the Las Vegas rock and roll marathon and half marathon powered by Zappos. It's really nice. I don't particularly do well with Vegas stuff, but I just like this so much that I had to try it. It's a windbreaker, so it's not heavy. We'll see. Things like that can take a while because there's like two people out there that would like it and I just have to wait for those people to find it. Uh, okay, this brand I do very badly with, so I buy it if it's a dollar or two or if it's, you know, at the bins and fairly lightweight, free people, and if I really, really like it. This is a size large and it's a very pretty embroidered dress. Look at that pretty embroidery. It's actual embroidery, it's not print. And it's tiered with embroidery on the arms and this kind of sleeve with the elastic there and a little bit more embroidery in the back. So very boho, very pretty. Hopefully, I mean, maybe I should still look to see if there's a million of them for sale, but it doesn't hurt that it's a large and I just thought it was pretty enough to take home. This, um, also style-based. I mean, not that it's a bad brand. It's just not a brand that people are particularly looking for. Where is it? It's Eddie Bauer size large. It is a hooded cardigan, long line with this really neat sort of wintry, maybe, I don't know, Southwestern almost design. I love it. I think this is a great looking sweater. This is also a pretty heavy sweater. I think this is going to be fantastic for the fall. I should get this listed ASAP. Uh, so that is actually it for clothing. I, I thought I'd, I had enough here for like a month um, I'm only listing two a day, but I still only have enough for a little over two weeks. Or maybe only two weeks. Okay, let's get into the footwear. Whee! Um, these are Cole Haan. They just spoke to me. They're very, very clean. They're, uh, somebody called it, I saw a listing for it, called it a semi-driving shoe. Uh, semi-driving shoe? It's not for driving semis, semis. Um, but I guess because it doesn't go up but I don't know if they got that term from Cole Haan or they made it up. Unless I see Cole Haan saying that, I'm not using that term. But they're a nice gold, matte gold. Look how clean they are. I don't think they were worn. They do look like, you know, they don't hold their shape here very well, but once you put your foot in it, they'll be perfect. And they are size 10 and a half. I was drawn to them. Um, there was, I think, a couple of pair of bionics that I was not interested in, but then I found these and I thought they were really pretty. I think they're a size eight. They're this uh, uh, like reptile print and, and textured. And then it has these stones here. It's really pretty on. I tried it on and I thought, oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Uh, in great condition. I like that the bottoms match the color. I think that's kind of cool. These are, oh, they're a size six and a half. That's the downside to this particular pair of sandals that I'm going to show you. But they're very cute. They've got a nice, I like sandals with a nice sturdy sole. And it's got hook and loop there. And they are, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Sorel. Okay, I don't think I, I didn't look at the size when I got them. I probably would have bought them anyway. They're not heavy. Uh, these are, okay, so at, we were there until almost the very end. And so like about three, they close at four. So about 3.30, 3.40, we were wheeling our carts to go um, pay. And I actually had a, an extra cart where I put my working cart. So once it gets into my regular cart, it means I've already looked it over. So I had some singles. So we went by the shoes to dump them. Um, but on the one side of the room, they had 
they were starting to take out all the tables so they could reset it for the morning. Um, so they move all the clothes sometimes into bins and then take some empty ones. So there was an empty bin with just two pair of shoes. And for some reason, this pair of hokas were there. Um, and I can't really find anything wrong with them. They need some cleaning, but they're not like, one of the big things with hokas is that they're worn out here. There's none of that. Um, I kind of was hoping they were my size, but they're not. They're a size eight, women's eight. I will clean them up and stuff them and see if I can get something for them. I picked this up when I was dumping them also, and I almost didn't. These are Coach, and I did recently sell a pair of Coach flats. I have some Coach sneakers that have been sitting forever, but they're the typical brown with the C's, and I think people are over those. Um, but these are flip-flops. They're a metallic. I think they're gold. It's hard to tell in this light, but I think they're gold. But that little, like, medallion thing there. And I did a quick search because we were on our way out. I didn't have a lot of time. And I saw a couple of things that looked all right. So I'm like, all right, just throw them in. I was uh, feeling a little distraught at first because I wasn't finding any cowboy boots. And I kept whining, I'm losing my cowboy boot mojo. I see cowboy boots in other people's carts. My friend found cowboy boots. She, not me. Um, but she found a couple of pair in the brand Corral. And I bought a pair of Corral uh, from an online auction that I sold for $100. So I was like, that's a good brand. Um, maybe not super high end, but you know, they have fancy design and stuff. And I was like, you'll make money on those. So anyway, I went back after a while and someone must have thrown these back and they are Corral. So I finally got, I ended up, I think with four pair of cowboy boots. So it wasn't that bad, but you know, gotta do a little moaning and whining. Um, they, the outside is in good condition. I'll clean them up with a little black polish and um, Wonder Balsam. The bottom has seen better days. Uh, they're still wearable as is. They may need a new heel cap at some point. But overall, not bad. I don't, I mean, these aren't going to go for 100 in this condition. I'm hoping either that I list them, I can list them for 50, or if I'm really lucky, maybe list them higher and get 50 for them. I have to research it a little more. These are a size 7. All of hers were 6 and a half. So I don't know if they all came from the same person, but... This is a better size, but she got some fancy schmancy ones. All right, these she found and had decided not to get them. I don't know why, but I didn't argue because I said, if you don't want them, I will take them. These are Doc Martens and they're, I would call this a Y2K style. And I have been doing very, I, I done very well with this style in Skechers. In fact, I would, I would prefer to find Skechers than Doc Martens if it's Y2K style. Um, but this is both, it's Doc Martens and Y2K, and they, they were size six, so she thought they were really small, and then she said, maybe they're men's, try them on. So I tried them on, and they fit me, and I was very annoyed because they looked so cute that I kind of want them, but I don't think I'm going to keep them. I thought maybe I'd wear them for like a season, but the bottom is in really good shape and clean, and I, I, don't, wanna, I don't wanna mess with that, so they're very heavy. So I'm just going to list them and I'll probably list these on Depop as well because the three Y2K Skechers I sold recently, two of them were on um, Depop. Now let's, let's do the other three pair of cowboy boots. These are Dan Post and someone will love these. Not this person. I wouldn't wear them, but somebody will. These these designs I think can do very well. They were just kind of smushed and folded over. You couldn't even tell they were boots. All I saw was this and I was like, that looks interesting, what's that? And then I looked closer and I saw it was Dan Post. So then I pulled them out and then I have had to like really, really stuff the feet because whoever stored them, like just mushed them up. I mean, who does that to cowboy boots? It's so weird. Um, but the heels are in good shape. Uh, I don't remember what size these are. I think they're a size eight. Yeah, size eight, pretty sure. Um, yay, those are good. These are Tony Llamas. They are some sort of snake. Um, these 
decent shape. Very wearable, it doesn't need to be resold or anything yet. And these are men's. And I don't remember what size they are. I don't know if it seems too dark to you, but it's pretty dark to me, so I can't see anything. If you're interested in any of these and you need to know the size, just comment. Uh, I had found one and my friend found the other. There was a lot of that going on. Her finding my other single, me finding her other single. Um, this is another, the last pair of cowboy boots. These are JB Dillon. It's got the square toe. Uh, I believe these are a 9B, so they're women's. And I have, uh, JB Dillon isn't top of the line. Like, it's not going to sell for a, a huge amount. Um, but I think they're pretty solid. I've sold a couple of pair. Um, so I, I don't mind. I, I'm happy to pick these up. This is a brand. I have two, I think, things in my closet. Maybe three of this brand. And they haven't sold. But I still think it's a brand that I want to look for because it's an expensive brand and I priced it all high. I'm ready. I'm okay with sitting for a while on, on things that I can price high. I mean, maybe at some point I'll lower them a little bit, but they're still going to make good money. I believe the brand is Alpine stars, which is a motorcycle brand. Um, and these are motorcycle boots. Uh, what's weird about these? Well, not weird. The size is, as I recall, eight E, which means they're wider than average but eight is a small size for men so they may take a while to find the right feet and it's not even like a woman could wear them necessarily unless she has like incredibly wide feet because they're wider than d is average for men's boots or shoes or whatever and uh these are even wider than average uh okay i I don't know. I should have looked these up. But look, there's so much writing inside. I couldn't... Charlie just did something weird. Like, look at all this writing inside. That's one side. That's the other. They're, it turns out they're firefighter boots. I thought they were really cool. Again, very, very heavy. It's a nice looking boat, obviously uh flame resistant or whatever clean it up a bit um these might be more than five pounds i'll weigh them if they are under five pounds i could always um mail them in a poly mailer because they're not going to get damaged um so i don't know i don't know would would people use them as a work boot or do i need to find a fireman it's got the american flag thing there Union made in the USA. Probably vintage. I thought they're really cool. But I, given the weight, I probably should have done some research. Okay, I'm not perfect. This is a brand I always hope to find. Um, and they need a major cleanup, but are otherwise in really good condition. These are Red Wing. Look at the bottoms. Really good condition, but just, you know, they played in the dirt. And it says Irish Setter Hunt. There. They are size 10 and a half. Men's 10 and a half. Also really heavy, but I have no doubt that I will make money on these. Another pair of boots, Skechers. These are just cute. I think I've sold a pair very similar to these for $50, but that's a, that was a full price sale. Um, excellent condition size eight. I like them very much. Uh, almost done. This is a pair of leather slides with a nice thick sole and a surprising maker, I thought. They are, I don't know if you can see it, they're a roper. I believe these are an eight. These are heavy too. And the last pair, is this the last pair? Yes, I got these in a uh, coin toss and the guy that lost 
seemed really upset. In fact, he's he walked away kind of in a huff, and I was like, I think he's really upset. And so I looked for him because I thought, well, maybe I'll just give them to him because, I, I mean, I'm happy to have them, but he was overly upset. But anyway, I didn't see him. Um, these are also leather, not slides because it has this, but these are Doc Martens in good condition. And I don't know what size they are. But that's it. That's it. This has been a half hour. So once I edit out some stuff, it'll be right around a half hour. So it's really not that much. It's not more than average in terms of number of things. I mean, there's probably four things that I didn't show you that are mine. Um, so my cost of goods spread evenly is fairly high because of all those heavy things. Um, but, oh wait, no, I forgot the coats. Don't go anywhere. Ah, okay. This gorgeous jacket is like a new buck leather with a super, super soft inside. The brand is, Oh, Ugh. find the brand. Oh, here it is. The brand is, that's an RC. It says Comstock Expeditions. Expedition? Expeditions. Um, there is no size on it, um, but my friend tried it on and she felt like it fit like a woman's extra large, but I'll probably list under men's, so probably a large. Um, once I do measurements, I'll know for sure, but uh, I, and it's in, as far as I could tell, unless I miss something, in perfect condition. Oh my God, my arm, also heavy. And then I got this. So first I found this thing in a bin. And I like, I don't know what that is, but it's like that coated canvas. And then I go to the next bin and I find this coat. So once I found it, I was like, oh, that piece goes with this coat. So I went, ran back over there and sure enough, it was still there. The brand is Outback, Outback Trading Company. And it's one of those very Australian dusters in an oiled, waxed, cotton canvas. Mm. It's a size medium. And the uh, comps on this particular brand were very mixed, but because of the style, I decided to pick it up anyway. It's got, it's got a lining and, you know, that, that typical back. I just have to figure out what the heck this thing is. There are snaps on it and I see two snaps here. So I'll put those snaps, but I don't know, maybe you button up the coat or zip it or no, it's snapped and then put that around it. I have no idea, but I really liked it. I mean, I almost put it back when I saw the comps for the company and I'm like, no, wait a minute. First of all, you have to consider that some people don't know what they have. They do really bad listings and they're just trying to get rid of their own stuff at yard sale prices. Um, and the, the difference in styles makes a big difference as well. So this really is the end. There is no more. Um, I'm not planning to go back to the bins for a while. Uh, I was thinking I wouldn't go back for a very long time, but actually I don't have as much stuff as I thought I did. So we'll see what happens. Um, thank you. If you stayed this long, I'm tired of talking, so I'm sure you're tired of listening. So give me a thumbs up if, it, if you think of it on your way out, and I will see you again, I hope. Bye now.